there says Sprint acts as taunt setting right here in Phantom Force. It came out in their like latest patch. I wonder if we should try it and see what it does. Well, I don't know what that's supposed to do. I mean, it said it, it should be self-explanatory, but I need to be given a five paragraph essay on how it works. Oh, never mind. Okay, cool. So basically, I guess what it does is that you just have to press shift and then you can just run. You no longer have to hold shift. Damn, that only took like 10 seconds of discovery. I'm just gonna get a little bit weird though when it comes to like <coughs> sliding. So I guess when you slide, oh, okay, okay, never mind. I see. So you got, so you basically got, so basically when you uh, crouch, you have to um, press shift again so that when you can, can you can continue running. Oh, that's a pretty cool setting. Now I can actually finally play this game without having broke having my having to break my pinky. Oh, that's cool, for stylus. Thank you. Oh, okay. Phantom Ghost. Does it matter? Nope. Nothing matters in this life. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, try this feature out a little bit more. Maybe. It, I wonder how like how useful it's supposed to be. Oh no, it's not useful at all. I mean, it doesn't have like a tracker to show when an enemy's behind me. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> Cool. All right, but I'm mostly used to holding shift, so I don't know if this feature is entirely that good, but oh well. Not really unfortunate. Huh. You know, that's really unfortunate. Because when I aim in, it just stops sprinting. Is this feature even worth it? I feel like it's not even worth it. I feel like you, you would get a more... Big bang for your buck if you just literally hold shift. You see, like, yeah, I don't even know if this feature is even that worth it, actually. Because when you aim in, it just literally stops you from sprinting, and then when you aim out, you just walk at your normal speed. So basically, either way, you still have to hold shift. I mean, it's good for, like, just walking, but that's pretty much it. Hmm. That's cool. But this HK417, though, do be strong. I mean, look at it. Just plow that person. Yeah, cool. I mean, it is a battle rifle, so what do you expect? I mean, you know what else I expect? Roblox being trash. Yeah. Hit firing sucks. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna go zip people. <laughs> Zip's the best gun in the game, no doubt. Ladies. Hello. Oh, God. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Rob. Wow. My teammate was... Well, thanks, teammate. I, I appreciate the help, you know? I mean, it's not like I'm trying to kill an enemy here, but yeah, obviously you're not going to do anything. And Roblox is just being garbage, because it is garbage. Oh. Well, I can't get up here, apparently. I'm still waiting for my goddamn cable to be plugged in. It's been like two months since I got it, and I still not plugged in. Maybe if I had it, maybe I wouldn't have been complaining as much about my Wi-Fi. Get, keep getting... Keep losing connection from Beast Worm Simulator as well. Alright. Oh, nice. What a perfect time, you know? And now it's that my battery is low when I'm in the middle of an FPS shooter game. Good job. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't even know if this feature is even that. Oh, God. Excuse me, sir. Oh, God. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, cool. And this is obviously how everything should be. Well, I guess the Aldo. I guess the auto sprint feature, it um, I, I don't even think it's that good actually. It kind of sucks, not gonna lie. So, yeah. So you basically just have to hold shift and then, or press shift and then boom, you can run automatically, but there will be some flaws to it. So, I mean, if you can get used to it, then okay, good. It will help you advance in this game. But I think for me, I, I think I should just su sacrifice my pinky just so I can get that extra movement speed. Cause, yeah, I, I'm not gonna be. I'm not getting used to this feature whatsoever. All right. Well, anyways, take care, everyone. See you.